Other interesting business news, you have Verizon stock dipping after they missed their estimates, which, again, not financial advice. It is fascinating that, of course, it is always 2020 when it comes to hindsight. I'll put up the Verizon good old stock ticker. About, yeah, currently trading for about $39.04 per share. Past five years, oh, geez Louise. Well, of all time, doing good, of course, like most stocks, they do generally increase over time, getting not financial advice. It went up 17.53% since inception. Past five years is down, negative 26.5%. Maybe they need to bring that back those funny, goofy commercials from the 90s and 2000s era. I remember the last time I saw a Verizon commercial in my lifetime. Yeah, yeah so it had been years. Past year, the stock's actually up, though, 20.4%. Year to date, up 0.87%. But past month, they're down, down about 5%. Last week, about 5% as well. So, a little, a little ups and downs. Now, let's come to us thanks to sorry, it's uh, investors.com. They quote Verizon slides as Q2 estimates earnings eat estimates while revenue misses. They say that quote Verizon Communications reported second quarter earning adjustments that met estimates while revenue missed Wall Street targets. Verizon stocks fell as other key metrics underwhelmed investors. There's a nice complicated graph to look at while I pull up the specifics. The company said it added about 148,000 wireless post-paid phone subscribers, topping, a plus for good word, estimates of 94,000. Build monthly uh, post-paid phone subscribers are the highest spending wireless subscribers, which again, like most things in life, is a you pay a premium going month to month. That's why most people buy packages of software, pretty much everything, and you know, groups of 10, or sorry, 12 calendar year. However, Verizon's consumer unit didn't turn positive in Q2, as some analysts had hoped. It lost 8,000 postpaid phone subscribers while the company added 156,000 business subscribers. Which, yeah, that's pretty good. Again, going after those corporate accounts always helps. For the period ending June 30th, Verizon earnings came in at $1.15 per share on an adjusted basis, down 5% from a year earlier. Revenue for Verizon stock rose 0.6% to 30, $32.8 billion. However, they did miss the estimates of $33.04 billion. Wireless service revenue climbed 3.5% to $12.8 billion. Earnings before interest, taxes, depreciation, and amortization came in at $12.3 billion, edging by estimates of $12.27 billion. So, missing a couple things. So, not great news for Verizon. They definitely need to keep turning things around. And again, five year, five year growth has been, well, negative. And again, I'd be fascinated to see what their marketing allocation budget is in terms of. Again, when was the last time I actually heard of a Verizon commercial? Granted, I don't have a TV except one that I connect a laptop to for running on the treadmill. But nevertheless, are you surprised that Verizon seems to be slipping a little bit? And this isn't just Verizon. Again, other major telecom carriers are also having long-term issues with their stock. We were looking at, you know, three, four, five-year trends of the stock. Even at t is going down. And again, there's a lot of other startups. But let me know in the comments. As always, be fascinated here. what you have to say. Thank you everyone for taking the time to tune in. Again, we're trying to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of the month. So if you could click that button, I would greatly appreciate it. Also, leave me a thumbs up, thumbs down, or comment. It's a great way to give me some additional feedback, letting me know how I can make the show better and better. Lastly, don't forget to take the time to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers, heck, tell your enemies, tell anyone and everyone. Just stay safe, fight the good fight.